folks, we are now back. So what we're gonna do is make a breakfast wrap. Let me just highlight these wraps. These are some low carb wraps, but a decent size. And in regards to each wrap, we are looking at seven grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 127 calories. I really like these. First off, what we gotta do is cook the sausage. So once the sausage is cooked, then we can add the egg whites, uh, the cheese, the ham, and the actual wrap. A quick tip as well, by the way, I'm not trying to threaten you. A quick tip when cooking sausages, be sure to actually stab the sausage because all the excess fat will just then seep out of it. Don't change the macros on the calories because of it, but I definitely would just When you get the omelette looking like this, because basically so far we're at the stage of just making an omelette, how you turn into a wrap pretty easily rather than just like adding a wrap at the very end is while the bottom is kind of heated but the top is still wet, what you do is get a wrap and just plop it on top. And because you're doing it when the egg is still literally wet on top, it almost acts like glue. So what it's gonna do is stick to the egg. So when you flip it, that's basically already done. And obviously, Put the top on is to make sure it does cook thoroughly. Also, shouts out to the scriber that reminded me to get a new spatula, one that's not metal, and give it a go. Ooh, look at that. All right, folks, now we are ready to flip, and it should flip easy anyway. Boom! Well, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of extra ham on top. Well, technically, this is gonna become the middle. Alright guys, this food, yeah I'll put the macros on the screen and the calories. That was delicious. So what we're doing is going on the train. Rule number one about doing cardio. Oh, never sweat out the good shit. Right, cardio. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is have to make a nice, probably strawberry and banana protein smoothie. What I'm also going to add to it though is one of these gut things. Uh, I've got a version where I add all three. But these are the main two kind of powders. We've got super greens, there's various like broccoli powder and stuff. And then we've got the digestive boost. These were just to kind of help with my fiber intake on, on days where I don't make it. Also, link in description box. See that? Look at that. It's a lot. Just so you can see it in a pint glass. Uh, the calories and macros should be on screen. Anywho, I'll see you guys after I've drank this, showered, and ready to cook the next meal. All right, guys, we are now fresh and ready to eat again. So, what we're going to have is uh, we're going to have one of these chicken packs from Muscle Food, uh, the spicy marinated chicken. Mate, so the chicken is basically done, mate, and it. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Anyway, so the chicken is basically cooked. So what I'm going to do now is make the French toast. All right, guys, and it looks like we have virtually perfectly made it. 120 egg whites is almost. Perfect, maybe like maybe five grams too much, maybe 115, because we only have a little bit of dregs left, which I'm just gonna literally pour on each of them. Uh, key thing when doing this is always make sure the pan is very hot. Do not put the bread on the pan if it's not hot, because the whole point is you wanna seal the bottom of the bread straight away, so 
it's cooking straight away so at least then none of the egg whites is going to leak out and what we're going to do now is if you haven't seen the newer versions of the french toast i've been doing since coach greg told me to actually bake the blueberries into the bread i've been doing it and it does actually make it taste better it tastes sweeter than when i used to just add it as a topping at the very very end This is the blueberry, no, the brioche. Don't I have to say where brioche. This is the brioche bread, blueberry, French toast with chicken on the side. This is a super high protein meal. I'm, we're probably looking at at least at least 60 grams of protein in this easily. Probably maybe even 65. Who knows? We should be pretty high on the protein scale because the French toast itself normally is around 22-ish grams of protein, and then you got a whole stack of chicken on the side as well. So yeah, I can't wait to eat this right now. I'm so, so hungry after all the cardio and stuff. I'm semi-exhausted. I feel like I might have to have a nap after I eat this as well. But yeah, so I'll see you guys for the next meal. Oh God, this smells good. I wasn't even gonna come back and talk to you to the next meal, but boy, if you have a Tesco near you, I co-sign that, that brioche bread. If you can fit the calories in, definitely at least try it. It tastes so, so good. I wouldn't use it, for example, things like normal toast, but Things that require more of a dessert feel, I would definitely recommend trying it. This is a TJ co-sign thing here. Brioche bread from Tesco is very cheap. It's Tesco brand. So yeah, I just want to recommend it because it tastes so good. It makes the French toast so soft. It almost feels like I'm eating like a pancake or a cake. Guys, I'm feeling semi peckish so I've got one garlic apple with some cinnamon and a little bit of zero calorie syrup on it and I'm gonna have two of the easy peel orange as well just kind of satisfy my sweet tooth plus getting my portions of fruit for the day as well because I've only had blueberries so far and if you haven't tried this cinnamon apple thing definitely try it. it gives you super dessert vibes it's like a basic apple crumble without like obviously heat Ugh, you guys look a bit dusty but yeah I'll see you guys for the next meal Right, Pete's for the next meal, what we're gonna do is have cod and a bunch of vegetables. So we've got sweet potatoes, white potatoes, and some chopped up courgettes as well, because it's probably one of my favorite non uh, like potato type veg. So we're gonna make that now. Should be a fairly filling meal, because the cod, I always have 260 grams, which is a huge amount that is really, really tasty as well. So I'm gonna make that. In terms of seasonings, you should already know the drill. The main seasonings I use is the jerk seasoning here and also a little bit of the fish seasoning and then other than that everything's like mixed herbs just some basic kind of things maybe some pepper stuff like that but yeah in terms of the actual tips a uh, tip i'm going to give you guys is if you've seen me make potatoes in the past normally you know that I just chop it up season it and put it straight in the air fryer however i think that works fine with sweet potatoes but when i make white potatoes i feel like it's better off when i actually boil them first so what i'm going to do is boil them for like around 15 minutes just so it's really really soft then put them in the air fryer to crisp them up. That way I find that the inside is a lot more softer, but then the outside is still crispy. So feel free to try it out. Anyways, I'm gonna more or less leave it to cook and then start seasoning up the fish and the courgettes, which I'm gonna add in last. But while I'm here, I might as well show you guys some of the other snacks I'm gonna have in the rest of the video, so I'm gonna show you later. So basically I'm gonna have rice cakes. I'll put on my fitness pal how much I use. I'm gonna estimate I'm probably gonna have at least three or four rice cakes, because I really like these caramel ones. And outside of that, the only other thing I'm going to have is to end out the day, I'm going to have this baked my protein cookie. I've been eyeing this up all day, so I'm going to have that probably right before, like, I'll probably watch a movie or something. So, yeah, these are pretty filling. I would personally heat them up in the microwave, and if you have something like Halo Top ice cream, make a nice little kind of cookie dough dessert out of that. But yeah, I highly recommend this for the taste, it's really, really good. I'll probably say this even tastes better than the double chocolate. This one is just a regular chocolate chip. Anyway, those are the snacks I'm gonna have. But for those of you waiting, stay tuned to see the actual meal, which is probably gonna be more anabolic anyway.
this here is the food is the final meal it's a very 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 weighty bowl so we have like over i think around 250 ish grams of potato we got about hun, I can't remember now. I think 144 grams of porridge, then the 260 grams of cod. So I'm gonna destroy this meal right now. I've already ate probably about two or three of the the rice cakes I already had. So I'm probably gonna have one more afterwards and the cookie I showed you earlier. Anyways, people, thanks for watching for today's full day of eating. Hopefully, you got some sort of ideas of what you can make in a day. It doesn't have to be super fancy as long as it's filling, tasty, high protein, and you enjoy it, and you think you're gonna eat it long term. It's a good option to go for, isn't it? You don't have to always go with a standard broccoli and rice type thing. Just go for anything enjoyable that you like. Anyways, people, I'm going to eat this now. So peace out. See you in the next video. Stay game, game. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.